Welcome to the Royal College of Organists A to Z of the organ. This is video number four, letter D, D for diapasons. Now, if you were to ask somebody who doesn't know much about the organ to draw an organ pipe, the chances are they'd probably draw something a little bit like this. It's metal, it is of a cylindrical cross-section, and it's the sort of thing you see on the front of many organs, screening the outside world from the many thousands of pipes which often lurk within. Now, those pipes, those visible pipes, the archetypal organ pipes, are diapason pipes, and here's what they sound like. Now that's a lovely breathy and vocal sound, uh, it's also quite mellow and one can't quite imagine it penetrating to the back of a great cathedral or abbey or concert hall. So one of the ways in which organ builders add more power to the instruments is to provide a diapason chorus, many many sets of diapason pipes at different pitches. Uh, and in so doing they're harnessing the power of the harmonic series. To explain a little bit about that though I need to digress. Cast your mind back to a science lesson at school where you shone a white light into a prism and on the other side of the prism appeared on the desk as if by magic the colours of the rainbow, the visible light spectrum. Same thing happens when sunlight shines through a raindrop that gives us a rainbow. All white light is comprised of a mixture of the colours within the visible light spectrum. Perhaps video E should be electromagnetic spectrum and we could look at this in more detail but I suspect the Royal College of Organists won't be up for that. Anyway, uh, sound works in a similar way. If all sound, whether it's my voice droning on for slightly too long with a video camera, or whether it's a dog barking outside, or a door slamming, or birds singing, all sound is made of harmonics. It's comprised of a mixture of different frequencies, overtones and undertones. If you want proof of that, go and stand outside church when the bells are ringing and listen to the way in which the sound of the bells dies away. You'll hear all sorts of other pitches singing through. It's uh, quite a haunting effect indeed. Now organ builders had sussed this out absolutely hundreds of years ago and so they built the diapason chorus. That is, sets of diapason pipes which speak an octave above written pitch, an octave below, two octaves below, two octaves above, various other intervening pitches, much higher and much lower. And the cumulative effect is not to make the organ sound higher or lower, but to make it sound richer and grander and to give it more power. So if I was to hold down a chord on a single set of diapason pipes at written pitch and then add others which are higher and lower and at other pitches, you'll hear how the sound grows. So there you have it, diapasons. Tune in next time for Letter E.